Well, if they weren't in isolation, new arrivals from New South Wales were in lines. And Darius Winterfield, it's been a testing time at WA's COVID clinics. Testing times indeed, Michael. There was a huge rush at all our clinics, but as you can see here at Royal Perth Hospital, much of the backlog has now been cleared. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Several of our clinics early on forced to turn people away, just unable to cope with those numbers. And that caused tensions to flare. Massive COVID testing queues snake out the door of clinics across Perth. Today, waiting patiently, it was a far cry from the pandemonium last night. WA Police sent this text message yesterday afternoon to recent arrivals from New South Wales, enforcing immediate self-quarantine and a COVID test within 24 hours. Clinics were swamped, people turned away, frustrations boiled over. So they've shut the doors. Have you ever heard of anything so stupid? Sparking concerns, we weren't ready. West Australia clearly is not prepared to deal with a surge in testing that is required when there is a possible outbreak. The response... Uh, we've scaled it up significantly yesterday and again today. And we're doing our best in difficult circumstances. Our best not good enough for some. It's ridiculous. Don't call people in for emergency testing if you don't have the facilities to cater for the people. It is absolutely ridiculous. Today, a suite of measures to cope with demand. Private pathology clinics will now provide free tests without a referral. Extended hours at Fiona Stanley, Royal Perth and Sir Charles Gardner. Open from 8 till 8, tonight, tomorrow and Sunday. Joondalup will be open until 10 o'clock tonight. All clinics are extremely busy and we thank people for their patience. Early this morning, there were queues well before clinics opened. Those rejected last night, hoping to beat the rush. I turned away at Charlie's and turned away from pathology clinics, so frustrating. But lines were moving. It seems to be moving faster than yesterday. By the afternoon, more than 2,000 tests had been done. They waited in 30 degree heat, bottles of water handed out. It was BYO camp chairs doing anything to pass the time, most accepting this new norm. There's nothing you can be frustrated about really. Um, it's just the way it is these days. Darius Winterfield, Nine News.